Stanley, haven't you forgotten something? Hey? Your paper hat. Blimey, it is Christmas, you know. You've got to keep the festive spirit up. I don't want to wear one of those. I oh, daft. No, you don't. Now, come on. Right. There we are. You have to work at this Yuletide jealousy, you know. Look at your Hilda, slaving over a hot stove to keep us in dinners. Oh. It's the least we can do. All right. Know what you are, don't you? A nagger. You're worse than our Hilda when you get started. I do not nag you, Stanley. I just tell you things for your own good, that's all. That's what she says, isn't it? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, me and all. I love Christmas grub, you know. Do you know, I can't understand people who said he don't like turkey. I can eat it till the cows come home. What are you talking about? We haven't had turkey. I know that. But if we had have had it, I wouldn't get fed up with it. What the hell is this? Soup. Made out the chicken we had yesterday. Great. I love soup for starters, me. Yeah, well, it's your finisher and all, cos that's all there is. You what? A little bit of soup for Boxing Day dinner? You get better than that in Walton. You're not detained here against your pleasure, you know. If you don't like it, you know where the door is. Do you know it's Christmas? I'm well aware of that, Stanley, but we had all this Christmas grub yesterday. Yeah, and it didn't take long, did it? There wasn't enough to choke a rat. Look, I've warned you once. Now, you're a guest in this house, so just mind your manners. I'm only a woman, you know, not a flipping miracle worker. I mean, I can't cook what I haven't got. It's that French trip, isn't it? That's where all the money's going. It's where my money's going, yeah. And it's the man of the house what's supposed to provide the housekeeping. <laughs> man of the house, that'll be the day. Well, I've had my expenses. I bought you that blouse. I know, and very nice too, Chuck. But I can't make pies and puddings out of blouses. Any road, it'll do you no harm. You're both as fat as pigs. You are? Oh, that's charming. That's nice language for Christmas, that is. Not only do you starve us, you insult us and all. Now, look, I'll not tell you again. One more remark and you're out. Oh, well, all right. You look really stupid in that hat. I don't know why you're wearing it. Hello, love. Oh, I missed, <laughs> missed you. missed you, too. <laughs> hey, there aren't half been some rumours flying around about you. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. They love it round here, you know, when they think I've had a knock. Yes, well, I'm not like that. I'm on your side. I know, yeah, and I appreciate it, love, and thank you. Hey, I say, <laughs> hey! <laughs> and I'm not being nosy, either, but I'm worried about you. I thought everything was going great in Torquay. Oh, look, love, I, I, I don't want you to upset you out like that, but... I, I really don't want to give you a blow-by-blow blow account of what happened. Just let's say, uh, let's say that I wasn't suited to the job, so I just thought I'd pack it in. What about Ron? Is he packing it in too? No. Nope. Well, isn't that going to be a bit difficult with him down there and you up here? It won't be difficult, love. It's all finished between Ron and I, all over. Oh, Elsie, I'm sorry. Oh, well, don't be. And anyway, I'm a bit too old to be pouring my heart out to you. You realise I'm old enough to be your granny. If you want to play Miss Lonely Arts, pick on somebody of your own age and for God's sake, cheer up and tell me something funny. Like, what's it like, you and Brian living with his mum? I mean, does she bring him a cup of cuckoo to bed? Uh, not quite, but I think she'd like to. <laughs> Actually, considering it's Ivy, she's not been too bad so far. Oh, that's fine. And what about Brian? How's he treating you? Lovely. Ooh. And it's great being together. Mind you, it'll be even better when we've got a place of our own. We say we're not like mad. That's a good girl. We thought about this place, actually, but it's a bit too near Ivy. Between you and me, I think we'd be better further away once we do move. Good thinking, Wonder Woman. Hey, but listen, Elsie, if you're finished with talk here, you're still selling this place, or what? I mean, what are you going to do about a job? What are your plans? Lovey. I haven't a clue. Haven't you got any bread left? I'm sorry, Mr. Tatlock. I've nothing like that. And it's not my fault, you know. I did tell you to get plenty in. It's been a good stale, wouldn't it? That's not my fault either. I can't tell bakers when and how to bake it. Well, they don't want to work. That's the trouble. They're all the same, every one of them. They don't want to work. You can hardly blame them, can you, at Christmas? I sometimes wonder what I'm doing at back of here instead of putting my feet up. I must be one of nature's mugs, I suppose. Mm. Hello, Mrs. Sharp. Hello, love. I thought I might find you open. A nice Christmas. Yes, uh, not so bad, you know, just the two of us, very quiet. How about you? Oh, I can't grumble. 
possible. And you haven't got any tea cakes left either, I suppose. I'm not sorry, Mr. Todd. I have nothing like that. Well, I can't be expected to go on cooking all the time at my age, can I? Surely I ought to be able to cut a bit of sandwich or something. Now I'm looking after myself. How can you knock to Glasgow and I'm struggling through on my own? Wouldn't it make you cry, eh? You wouldn't think that I made Christmas dinner for him yesterday. Well, I could have made my own, couldn't I? Yeah, so what would you have done? You'd have boiled yourself an egg and then gone round moaning what a rotten time you were having. Oh. I'm surprised, you know, that Ken has gone up to Glasgow. I wouldn't have been sure that he'd want to leave Deirdre. Well, his own children come first, don't they? His own flesh and blood. And I thought you'd have known that, you being an intelligent woman. Well, thank you, Mr Tatlock. I shall take that as what they call compliments of the season. Mm. Cheers, Tommy. Cheers. All the best, love. Likes you, doesn't he, Tommy Barton? Well, I mean, he must do, behind your shorts. Oh, yeah. Cheers is dead keen. I mean, he never speaks to me all the year round, but come Christmas, he buys me a brandy. Every Christmas, eh? Without fail. You know what that means, don't you? What? You and him are going steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, Dad, what's going to me mum today? I mean, she's gone mad over this dinner. Well, it's with you going to Gail's mum's for your Christmas dinner, you see. It's a bit of a blow to her, that's all. I thought you got over that. She has. But you see, she wants today's little dude to be a memorable affair, especially with Gail's mum being there. Oh, well, it's putty, if you ask me. It's supposed to be a time for a relaxing Christmas, and there's me mum twanging about like an old banjo string. It's an elemental force, son, you know what I mean? You know what? I'll bet we were all just the same when we were living in caves. <laughs> when you were a little lad, you mean? Cheeky. No, but it's right what I'm saying. You see, what it is with your mum, she's fighting this battle over your body. Get away. Yeah, she's fighting a battle with Gail's mum to see who could feed you the best. It's like a boxing match to them, you know. It's seconds out, knives and forks at the ready, just to see who can stuff the most food inside you. Women. Hey, shall I get another drink? No, no, we better get off before she sends a search party out <laughs> for us. Come on. Hello. Have you taken that blouse off these past two days, Hilda? Well, I've not been to bed in it, have I? Really? I am surprised. Oh, you're only jealous. I bet nobody bought you a blouse for Christmas. <laughs> True. Bye, you must have some on your conscience, Stan. What have you been up to? No, don't start mixing it. Oh, tell a notice, Stan. You look very well, lovely. Now then, what are you having? Well, I'm having a light ale with Eddie because he's our house guest for the festive season. Now. Is that right? You generally spend Christmas at Chatsworth, don't you, love? I have stayed at Chatsworth, if you must know. To board now, see New Brighton. <laughs> Uh, a life bottle yeah. and uh, two halves of it in the stand of me. And if you can get any change out of 48p, it's yours. Right. Find yourself and a vodka for Rita. Yeah, well, I've only some. No, it's all right, love. Hilda's doing all right for presents, isn't she? Better than me, and that's for sure. Give over. A man like Ferkloff here will have lavish jewels and furs on you, I bet. Would you believe a box of chocolates? No, don't go on about it. I'm not going on about it. She asked what you gave me for Christmas, so I told her. I was late getting me presents, that's all. Ah, well, it's, it's easy done. Oh, yeah? Did you do it? Did you leave it too late to get something for Rini? Uh, well, no, I, I did. You're a rotten husband, Fairclough. It beats me how she puts up with you. Flipping it. Christmas comes but once a year, and it's a flaming nuff. Call it a Christmas present. There. Thank you. You know... That's the nicest present I've had so far. Come to think of it, it's the only one. Well, you know me. I can't bear to think of waifs and strays and orphans of the storm going out without a drop of mother's ruin at Christmas. Mm. I'm in that list somewhere. I thought you might be. And seeing as you'd not been down to the rovers drowning your sorrows, I thought I'd bring a drop of sorrow drown around to you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So. You've made a thorough muck of it again. Do you know, I've waited two days for you to come round here and tell me that. It's all kaput, is it? Wrong? The job? Everything? Mm-hmm. Everything. I'm sorry, Elsie, really, I am. I can't pick on either. No, some women can. Seems we're not amongst them. Can't we expect too much? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You can't help the way you are, can you? So what went wrong, or would you rather I minded my own business? No, I'll tell you. It was a boss. Ron's boss. Kept trying it on. He fancied you, you mean? Well, he's an old bloke, isn't he? Oh, he's an old bloke, all right. But he's not too old to keep trying. 
Oh, come on. I would have thought you could cope with that. Oh, yeah. Could cope with that. It wasn't that. It was his missus. She knew. And she didn't blame her lecherous husband. She blamed me. Hmm. I see. No, no, you don't. Not quite. Not yet. Oh, I had to go. She made that quite clear. But it wasn't that that bothered me. It was wrong. How do you mean? You see, he knew what was happening. He knew the old man was trying it on, pestering me all the time. He never said a word. Not to me. Not to the old man. You see, he likes that job, does Ron. He likes that job better than he likes me. That's what uh, brought it home to me. Ron isn't the man that we thought he was. None of them are. Up to now, anyway. That is the spirit, and talking of spirit, we're having another. Oh. Hello, Elsie Tanner. Oh, hello, Mrs Tanner. This is Mrs Ellis here. Oh? Mrs Ellis. Oh, yes, she came to see about the house, yes. That's right. We never actually met, though. Oh, no, that's right. I, I was away. You uh, dealt with Susie Birchall. Yes. Look, I wonder if I could come round for a few minutes to murder for Kurt. Today? Well, yes, sure, fine. Uh, looking forward to seeing you. Thanks very much. See you soon, then, Mrs. Tanner. Yeah, OK, bye. Bye. Oh, Lord. What's up, kid? That is the young couple who are buying the house. I don't think they're buying the house. So you're going to stay put here? What else can I do? I have no job. I have nowhere else to go. True. They're coming round to measure up for curtains. And I'm going to have to tell them that they can't have the house. Oh, damn, 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 damn. What a flaming way to spend Christmas. Sorry, ma'am, I'm blown out. I'm afraid I'm full and all. Well, you've hardly touched it either. Is it all wrong with it? Oh, no, it's great, ma'am. It's oh, it's lovely, Kerry. It's just terrific. All honest. Well, it's not like you, our brain, is it, leaving your dinner? Aren't you feeling very well? Oh, fine, ma'am. Just blown out, you know. Well, they was both all right yesterday. There was nothing wrong with their appetites then. They shifted everything I put in front of them. No, well, that doesn't say much for my cooking, does it? I'm sorry, ma'am. Do you know how it is? You get Chopper's Christmas wares on. They're filling this sort of stuff. I don't want to eat again for a week. No, it's lovely, love. There's just a lot of it, isn't there? Should have seen the kitchen this morning. It looks as though she was going to feed the 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have some Christmas pudding, won't you? Uh, okay. Not for me, ma'am. Oh, I couldn't eat another thing. Well, yeah, there's somebody will have to eat it. There's Christmas pudding, there's mince pies, and there's that lovely big cake your Auntie Marjorie made us. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, no, not for me, love. I couldn't face another thing, kid. I could tackle one of your mince pies, Ivy. No. Thanks, love. Anybody else? It's a good job I came, isn't it? Hey, uh, who fancies a bit of a knees up, eh? Hey? A bit of fun, a bit of a laugh. Should I nip round at neighbours, see who wants to come in? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I could soon nip down the street, see who fancies coming. Yeah, hey, tell you what, ma'am, we've certainly got plenty for them to eat. Oh, thanks <laughs> very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit sudden, I think, isn't it? But it's not a bad idea, is it? <laughs> the uh, reason we haven't met before is because I was away. Oh, it's Torquay, wasn't it? It must be nice, don't Yes, it? it is. It's a bit warmer than round here, I bet. <laughs> oh, it has got a bit perishing, hasn't it? Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh. don't go to any trouble for No that. trouble at all. I was going to brew for myself anyway. Sit yourself down. Oh, oh thank you. <coughs> I hope you didn't mind us coming round today. Only we wanted to get some measurements, see? I've got no sewing machine and I thought I could be making curtains while we're waiting to move in. Oh, yes, I see. Uh, and there should be no problem with the mortgage. It's just a matter of getting the solicitor to pull his finger out, really. I see. They take their time, don't they? I think they'd be a lot quicker if it was them that wanted somewhere to live. But in a bed sit at the moment. It must be very cramped. Yes, it is a bit, and with a baby on the way and everything. When is it due, love? Oh, there's another three months to go yet, nearly. <laughs> Did you bring the tape measure to Oh, yes, sir. Uh, is it all right if I measure up on the windows? Oh, you weren't thinking of leaving any of the curtains, were you? Selling them, I mean. I'm sorry, love, but this is no good. It, it just won't work. I, I didn't want to have to tell you, but it looks like I'm going to. I'm not selling the house after all. What do you mean, not selling? Well, I'm taking it off the market. But it's all been agreed and everything. And we put a deposit down. Yes, I know, love, and I'm very sorry. And I'm sure you'll get your deposit back again. Well, somebody's put in a better offer, have they? We've been gazumped, have we? 
I think it's a bloody dirty trick. No, it's not like that at all. I think the whole thing stinks. You said you'd sell it to us. No, it's not that. I'm not selling it to anybody else. I'm just not selling it at all. I've set my heart on this house. Yes, what I know. Look. Do? I'm sorry, but I'm not selling the house, love. It's just as simple as that. When Let me explain to you. When I went away, I thought I was going away for good, but it all fell through, that's all. So I'm not selling this house to anybody else. I've got to live here myself. Do you see what I mean? Listen, listen, don't cry. What are we going to do, Ted? Oh, we'll have to find somewhere else, won't we? I hope you're pleased with yourself. Look, I am not pleased with myself. I know you want somewhere to live. I know you want a home, but I'm sorry. So do I, and this is it. It's not right. Shut up a minute. What's not right? Hoarding all that money. You're not hoarding it. You're saving it. Well, same thing, isn't it? We had a rotten Christmas, rotten food and now to drink. Well, whose fault is that? You should have bought a turkey and a couple of bottles, shouldn't you? I thought you were doing it. Ah, well, you know what thought did. Followed a muck cart and thought it were a wedding. No, you must do what I do. Put your money aside for the things what you want. Now, this is for my trip to France. The waste of money. I don't think so. Oh, and while we're on the subject, Stanley Ogden, I know exactly how much is in there. So if any of it goes missing, you'll not dare close your eyes again in this house, cos I'll have you. As if I would. All right, just so long as you know. If you lend us a couple of quid for the rovers tonight... No. I'll go on. No, so. and that's final. Just till tomorrow. Look, Stanley, it were hard enough saving that money. I've no intention of seeing it draining away behind the bar at the Rovers, thank you very much. I've got a brilliant idea. No. No, no, listen, Hilda. We don't need no pubs. We'll make our own entertainment right here. We'll have a quiet game of cards. You like this game, Hilda. It's a nine-card brag. We'll just play for pennies, make it interesting, you know. You must think I come up on the last tram. It's just a little flutter. <laughs> you can just flutter off. Ah, there you are. Evening. I hope you haven't come to borrow nothing, cos if you have, you're out of luck. No, as a matter of fact, I came round to ask you to a party at our house. Hey, great. Oh, what's it in aid of? Oh, not special, just a party, you know. But there is one little snag if you could just bring a bottle, not a main. Oh. See you there. Tra. Bring a bottle. They can't bring a bottle. Unless you lend No! You can't go then. Hang on. Ilja, you know that uh, tonic wine you said was horrible? Oh, yeah, but there's only half a bottle of it left. Yeah, but there's some egg flip in the cupboard. Hang on. There you are. And there you are. What's this? How's it Berry wine? Oh, uh, yeah. I know they made that. Must be all of ten years ago. Well, there you are. It'll be nicely matured, won't it? We can't take those dregs. Of course we can, Stanley. But we can put them all in one bottle, mix a nice little cocktail, can't we? Mm. Well, we won't have to drink it. Mel, are you going to give any vodka, love? I think I'm slightly deaf. Vodka? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, so Hello. 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 This is where the party is, love. Yes, this is it, love. I am glad you could come. I'm glad you asked. We're just sitting at home looking at one another like a couple of turtles, weren't we? Were. I love a surprise party. Hey, tell you the truth, it was a surprise to me with Bert's idea. Oh, really? I think it's very brave of you, anyway. Hello, love. Hello. 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 Uh, I've brought you a bottle of whiskey and a cup of Whiskey, hey, yeah, that's a thing. Just a chop. Hello. <laughs> Hey, hey, they look like a good advert for marriage, don't they? My word, don't they just... Give him time. He hasn't had time to be impact yet. Well, you certainly don't look impact to me. Well, then again, of course, he's not married to a hen love, is he? Wait till young Gail and Brian get a couple of kids floating about the place with nappies in front of the fire, eh? Now, come on, don't be in such a rush to make me a granny. You better talk to them about that. I shouldn't think they'd notice, love. I shouldn't think they'd hear you. Hey, Rita. Yeah? Could I borrow your husband for a dance? Help yourself. Oh, look. Yeah. That's Gail's mother, isn't it? That's her. More like yeah. a sister than a mother. Mm. She does have that effect on fella. Hey, I don't care. If she gets health going, I might get the benefit. Hey, I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, Albert Tatlock wasn't in. Ina Sharples has no reply, and Elsie Tanner says she's not coming. Why, is she going out? No, she says she don't feel like a party or something. That's not bad there, is it? No. Well, she's she's <laughs> got the crew, oh, Hey, up. The rear, the three draggies. Hey, peace and goodwill to all men, remember. That includes them. Hello. Hey, how have we got a bottle? Oh, Tom, very much. It's between us, like. Well, that's very good. Have you helped yourself to drinks? Oh, and there's some grub in the back. Plenty Great, of it. I'm starving. Right. Anybody think I didn't feed you? And they'd be right, too, wouldn't they? It's only show you. Yeah. Sorry, love. Sorry. <laughs> oh. You, it's only 
me. Hey, uh, we're having a bit of a do at our house. Yeah, I know, Bert said, uh, I uh, don't think I'll bother, love, if you don't mind. Well, girl said you're a bit brassed off. Come on, Elsie, it'll cheer you up. Oh, no, I'm not in the mood, love. Well, you soon will be. Come on, you enjoy yourself. No, no, I'll just put the damper on everybody else. Thanks all the same. Well, you'll please yourself, Elsie, but I'm just thinking of what folks will say. By heck, Elsie Tanner turning down a party. <laughs> Must be getting past it. They said once upon a time, when she took a knock, she goes to come bouncing back. Same as I say, must be getting past it. Oh, I can hear them now. By gum, Ivy, you don't half go on, don't you? Me, love, I'm noted for it. Noted for it. Come on. It was an ice age, that's why. Look, 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 Will I hold your drink? You stand there cramming food down you and you're worrying about your drink. What, you want a trough? That's what you want. Hey, that bloke you brought to the wedding, uh, what was his name? Oh, Frank, you mean. That's it, Frank, you mean. <laughs> hey, how's, how's he keeping? You are. How's he keeping? Oh, you gave me quite a turn. I thought he said, who's he keeping? Oh, I can see I'm going to have to watch yeah, you. Man. Let that trickle down your taste buds. Sensational, isn't it? Well, I've had worse, but not much. Yeah, but it's a new taste, you see, and you've got to get your palate used to the novelty of it, you know. I reckon in old days, you know, when he first invented ale, a lot of people walked around with long faces. By the hell, Eddie, you've got a concoction there, haven't you? Thank you, Squire. There's a man of taste and discernment, you see. Yeah, with a bit of capital behind you, you should make a fortune out of that lot. Hey, do you reckon? Yeah, it's marvellous for unblocking dreams. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Hello, Elsie. Nice to see you, love. Oh, mutual. Here, yeah, Elsie, try some of my new cocktail. What? If you don't want to commit suicide, don't touch it. Well, I did have the impulse, but it passed. I'll get you a proper drink, eh? I, uh, I thought you'd be down in Torquay this Christmas with your southern friend. Yes, well, it wasn't for want of invitation, Zilda. Oh, no. I, was, uh, I was talking to that young couple about to buy in your house the other day. Seem a nice couple. Yes, they are. Very nice. Very pleasant and well-spoken. Oh, I'm looking forward to having them for neighbours. Be a nice change. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, other, but you won't be having them for neighbours. How's that, then? Because I'm stopping. I'm back for good. You're stuck with me. Cheers. Cheers, then. Ken gets a New Year's Eve shock tomorrow on Plus, and that's at the same time, 6.30. Well, next, for Poirot, it's all a question of sex. Is a murderer male or female? <laughs>